He refuses to let old man go, when bystanders realize why they call the police. George was walking in his local mall when he suddenly got approached by an old man. The old man looked kind of confused, he asked for help, but before George could react, another man approached them. He took the old man with him. George kept following them. It looked like the man refused to let the old man go. George felt something was wrong and was concerned about the old man's safety. He tried to stop the younger man, but he didn't listen. George's shouts drew more attention, and when the old man looked back, the younger man whispered something that scared him. George decided to follow them, the younger man increased his pace and swiftly put the old man in a black van, driving away. George yelled, call the police, a bystander dialed the police, who promptly dispatched officers to the local mall. When the police arrived, they questioned George about the incident, he shared what he saw. They also interviewed other witnesses, and Jack, a store owner, came forward, he had seen the old man for a few months. The challenge, however, was that no one knew the identity of the younger man. Jack suggested checking his security cameras, upon reviewing the footage, they noticed the younger man avoiding the cameras. The police conducted a background check on the old man, using new software to identify him as a wealthy hedge fund manager who earned a fortune through stock trading. This discovery hinted at why the young man might be doing this, maybe trying to get money from the rich old man. To make sure this would not happen, they put a specialist on the bank accounts, in the meantime, other officers checked the cameras outside the mall. They had a clear visual of the black van, the van arrived later, which means the young man ha had some accomplices. Thanks to the cameras outside the mall, they could clearly see the number plate of the van. To make things even more terrible, the van was reported stolen that same morning. The van was seen on several traffic cameras, which made it easier to track it down, officers immediately hurried to the last seen location. When they arrived, they found the burned out van. The officers needed George because only he could describe the young man clearly. George was quickly taken to an artist to create a picture of the man's appearance, after the drawing, they checked the database and got a match. The police captain was shocked to see it was Marcus Lee, a known felon and former local group leader. He was released from prison a few months ago but never reported back to his parole officer. The police captain alerted everyone to focus on finding Marcus Lee. They knew his former driver, Dave, might have information, Dave claimed Marcus had contacted him for a job, but he declined. However, a search of Dave's house uncovered a lot of cash, they cracked Dave's phone and found a recent message from Marcus asking for help. The police asked Dave to call Marcus Dave agreed, and after a few tries, Marcus finally called back, Marcus sounded suspicious. They kept Marcus on the phone long enough to track him down to a nearby warehouse, the warehouse was part of a shipyard. They broke open the doors and saw a whole bunch of workers, they spotted Marcus, when he saw the police force, he did not even try to run. When the police came to get him, he insisted he hadn't done anything wrong, and when questioned about the old man, he became defensive. George identified him without hesitation, it seemed clear to everyone that Marcus was the one who took the old man. Marcus didn't want to share more information, then, the phone at the police office rang, and a female officer reported finding the old man at one of Marcus's known addresses. They rushed to the location and indeed found a confused-looking old man, Gary. He seemed fearful and didn't want to go with the officers, making them think he was referring to Marcus. Marcus knew Gary as a volunteer caretaker but was unaware of Gary's background or who he was taking care of. Gary often forgot where he was and didn't recognize Marcus. He was trying to find his daughter, whom he used to visit them all with. Gary was being taken back to the nursing home this morning by the van from the nursing home, but the car got in an accident and burned down. At that moment, Marcus lost Gary and started looking for him, Marcus went to all the places Gary often visited, like the old shipyard he used to work at. At that time, the police took Marcus away, meanwhile, Gary walked to Marcus's house because it seemed familiar, he had been there a couple of times. The whole supposed kidnapping was a big misunderstanding. Marcus was released, and he took good care of Gary.